when, how did that, that whole thing start? It's been 11 years of doing Chloe, 12, right? 12, yeah. 12 years yeah. of doing Chloe. 2002, uh -huh. I was in a, um, a sketch comedy troupe called The Deviants. Right. And we were, we were doing, like, everyone was doing impressions, trying on wigs, different things. I tried on a blonde wig, and I looked in the mirror, and I was like, who do I look like? I couldn't place it, and then I st and I was like, no, I look like Chloe Sevigny, <laughs> and I really, really did, especially then, more than now. And, it, and the less makeup I have on, the more we really do have. A right. lot of you do have a little bit of that features, and I was like, wow, well, what do you do with that? And then I read an article with her, and she was in an interview, and she was just name checking all these things that were just like, who would know this <laughs> this reference? Who would get this? Who understands this? And it was just thrown off the bat, like, oh well, you know, you understand. Yeah. Balenciaga La Dima, Nicolas <laughs> Gascon. Right. You know, and it's like, and Chip and Pepper and Half Bonnets and this and that. And we were there, and I was there with DJ Danny Tanaglia and blah blah. And you're just like, this is so much information. I don't understand this at all, but I love it. I'm right. fascinated by it. <laughs> I want to be in this world. I, I. That's why I have such a, 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 a you know, um, a love hate fascinate with the world of Chloe because it's like. You know, um, I, I th she's awesome. Like, who else can do that and rattle that off? And then, so I did it on stage, and it bombed horribly. I did it the very first time. Because it was it too highbrow for the audience to no, get. No, I just think it was one of those things that that I walked out on. I don't know. It's like a, it's the it, you're at the when you walk out on stage, you're at the mercy of right whoever's you know, right two there. Two dozen people, yeah. which is normally what I perform for. <laughs> and it's like whatever they're into. And then I walked out, and, I, and my director didn't like it. He didn't really get what it was. He's like, "There's no jokes in this." You're literally coming out and you're talking in random. And like, it, there's nothing, I don't know what's funny about this. And I was like, I just trust me, David, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I walked out on stage and it was like the worst five minutes of my life. Like it was the, dr my mouth was so dry. I said in my show, my mouth was like a Cabbage Patch doll's ass. Like it was just like, you know, dry and pointless. Cause it was just like, I'm completely like, what am I doing? What am I saying right now? What am I doing? And I felt myself just like watching myself, you know, on stage. And it was, and the audience just sat there and they were just like, what just happened to us? And then the next night I went out and did it and it killed. So I never right. knew. But it was Jim Hansen's brilliance to, who, who saw that me, me do it on stage and who was like, this needs to be a video. These yeah. need to be videos. And he got like the music underneath and he got the cuts of how it had to be. And then, um, <clears throat> but then I think people have to see like two videos until, until they get it. That's yeah. what somebody else pointed out to me. So I think the first time you see it, especially if you're like, also back then nobody, Really knew who Chloe Seventy was. I mean, I, mean, I feel I like I did. Yeah. I love Chloe Seventy. We all knew her before, like Big Love, as the super hipster girl, right. and her friends had that label. Was it Imitation of Christ? Imitation or, of Christ. Yeah. So it was Tara Sukoff and the right. whole thing. Right. So yeah. they were. She was very super hipster, just like you portray her as. And you know, and and yeah, and I thought it was just it was awesome, and and um, so, but, but at the time, a lot of people didn't know who it was, and they, they didn't know that the joke was you're not supposed to get the joke. Yeah. Like the you're not supposed to get the references. Uh -huh. You know. <laughs> Like, if you claim to get the references, you are the joke. Because mm -hmm. that's the other thing, too. <laughs> We're like, oh my God, how funny that you would mix, you know, you know uh, blah, 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 with, you know, obesity and speed with, you know, Max Osria. And you're like, you missed the point. But thank you. Love you.